right, so for this demonstration, I have 1,000 milliliters of water, or one liter of water. This is our analog for all water molecules on planet Earth, all of them. One liter, 1,000 milliliters. This is all the water that's on planet Earth, okay? And remember, water occurs in all three phases of matter on planet Earth, liquid, solid, and gas. And that's what this 1,000 milliliters is representing. But how much of it is really for our use? How much is available to us? Well, in order to get that amount, I need to uh, take some of this 1,000 and pour I'm just going to pour a little bit back in there. That's a bit too much. Let's get these my uh, eyedropper to get it to where I want to go. And there we go. All right. So now I have 30 milliliters in this graduated cylinder. I took it from the thousand that was here. That means there is 970 milliliters left in the large graduated cylinder. But guess what? This is not for us. This is unavailable to us. So I'm gonna move it off to the side. Why is it not available to us, you might be asking. What's wrong with all this water? We only get this from that? Well, you might expect that this water in this here, this 970, this is ocean water, salt water, and that's not for us to be drinking or washing or bathing or cleaning or cooking with. It's not potable water, P-O-T-A-B-L-E. Potable water is water that you use to drink or to wash with or cook with. Ocean water, mm -mm -mm -mm. so that is not for us. This is fresh water. Is it all for us? Sorry. So I'm gonna take my 30 from my larger graduated cylinder and pour some into the smaller graduated cylinder. I'm going to pour nine milliliters into the smaller graduated cylinder. And of course I went too high. Let me just take out a little bit so that it's actually Good enough. Now there's nine, and from 30 minus nine, now we have 21. Which one is for us? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Off this goes with the ocean water. What's wrong with that? I mean, we can't, all that, that was left, and we can't get that. What's the problem? Remember I said three phases of matter? That's fresh water, but it's solid. It's ice. It's the glaciers and snow caps uh, around our planet. So that is not available to us. This, the nine, is fresh water, so it's not salt, and it's liquid. So this is fresh liquid water. My goodness, we went from a thousand to nine pretty quickly. So fresh liquid water, well, that could occur as surface water. So if we think about fresh surface water, hmm, fresh liquid surface water, lakes, rivers, groundwater, the water that we don't see uh, on the surface, that would be uh, subsurface uh, water. So that's groundwater, rivers and lakes, uh, water in the atmosphere as well. So the gas, uh, water vapor, hmm, how much? We're not done. I, all I have left is my eye drop. So from the nine, and actually most of that nine, about 8.9 milliliters of that nine milliliters is water that we don't see. It's groundwater. So you would think that with all the lakes and all the wonderful rivers that cover our planet, it's actually a very small amount of surface fresh water. Most of the fresh liquid water is groundwater. It's water that's stored in soil and sediment and rocks um, underground. But 
I'm going to take out from the 9 and get it to about 8. And so I have 1 milliliter in here in my eye drop and 8 here. Which one is for us? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Off this goes with the salt water and the glacier ice. And even though that that's fresh liquid water, that doesn't mean we should be drinking it or bathing with it, cleaning or cooking with it. It's contaminated or it's just too deep. It's inaccessible for us to uh, spend the money to try and get it. Um, but most likely it's contaminated uh, water. And so all that's left from the thousand is one milliliter. This is potable water, fresh, liquid, clean water, potable water. This is for you, but who is you? And so we should have that discussion about who this one milliliter that's left, who's you when I say this is for you?